Good early evening or afternoon, depending on where you are. Let's get our audience going. Because I think we got to talk about important stuff. And I hope that people are going to join me. So let me see what's going on here. I don't want to talk to no one. Well, okay, let's get started. I see we got some people. We know what's going on in Standing Rock. And I've been talking about this. Hi, Erin. And I am really, I'm pissed, I'm disgusted. But you know what? I'm more disgusted at myself and I'm more disgusted at us for not doing anything. Because the pipeline is merely a symptom of a huge problem. We've been fucking asleep at the wheel and I'm not happy. I don't feel good. I'm pissed off. And I knew this was going to happen. And I knew the, the law enforcement was going to go in there. It was just a matter of time before these fossil fuel industries, the, these, these people out there from the Dakota Ac Access Pipeline and Energy Partners... Went in there and railroaded them out of here. Out of there. Arrested them. Took the elders. <laughs> it's not their fault. It's our fault. So I'm going to read to you what's going on. So today I posted something early this morning. And, uh, and Holly, I'll tell you what to do in a minute, okay? I'm just mad. And then i got to talk. Um, up there in North Dakota... There, these oil companies are called the back and pipelines, and a couple of these companies declared bankruptcy. And uh, there was an article in the newspaper from up there in North Dakota that talked about two dead heavy uh, operators in the state: uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma-based Samson Resources and Denver-based American Eagle Energy. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, planning to sell off back and assets to pay off what they owe. So evidently they're saying because uh, the price of oil is low, all right? What does this mean to us? Well, let me read a little more here. We have not currently entered into agreements to divest other larger packages, including our uh, Bakken, Wamsutter, San Juan, and non-core mid-con assets, because we perceived the value offered was less than the value of retaining these properties when economic factors and the impact to our credit position were considered, the company said in first quarter of 2015 filings with the SEC. Now, th these companies... We got to research these companies. These companies that are filing for bankruptcy, all these uh, oil companies, they need to be researched. Those CEOs need to be contacted by all of us activists. They need to be contacted and, and not be encouraged to go back into business once they reorganize. It's really important. It's really important. So uh, they, they're talking about, you know, they have to. Uh, get rid of like 450 million of new capital so they or get more capital you know it's all about money it's all about money here's one guy the steps we are taking to allow our company to maximize future opportunities and compete more effectively with significantly less debt on our balance sheet randy limbacker ceo of samson resources you know what these companies are these companies look for opportunities to get more fossil fuels out of the ground and then they partner with those pipeline companies like Dakota Access and Energy Transfer. These companies are all over the place. But they had, um, uh, they, now up and back in, in North Dakota, that company had 400,000 acres. Do you know how much land that is? 400,000 acres. I'm pissed. Because I've been, I've been, this has been uncovering in my mind since this whole thing started. Because I'm mad at myself, because I didn't know, because I'm stupid, or I was asleep. Like a lot of us. And I can't help myself. I'm just so upset today. You know, it's just so upsetting that this is happening to those people. It's just not fair. So between June and September 10th, oil and gas companies have filed for bankruptcy. 19 have filed um, in the past year since October, mid-October. American Eagle Energy, which buys and develops oil well in the back end, was fourth, filing in mid-May. They missed a debt payment, you know. I mean, they, they listed their assets, $222 million. So, and they have liabilities. They've got 54,262 acres in the back end, the, the oil field comp. Uh, uh, places up there and 
It's these kind of companies, American Eagle and Occidental Petroleum, um, who actually agreed to sell their North Dakota, Dakota shale oil acreage and assets to another one, a private equity fund called Lime Rock Resources for $500 million. Now that sale includes 300,000 acres and a recently built 21,000 square foot regional office building in Dickinson. These companies... MDU Resources Corporation and uh, and uh, and all these other ones, which I'll research and we'll get more stuff done on these. These are the people we have to contact. These are the people that activists have to get in contact with and say, at least try to tell them, invest your money in green. Invest your money in renewable resources. These are these are companies that look for opportunities for fossil fuels out of the ground. And there's a lot of money in it. And that's why I looked the other day and I found the, uh, what is it, the Citizens Climate Lobby. And they got to do it through the pocketbook. And they, they're three years old. And they're going out there and they are uh, um, working with, they're trying to work with politicians. And they're training people. I, I signed up for their November 1st and 2nd training. And I'm going to learn what I have to do to lobby politicians because you have to talk to them somehow and find out uh, if they are going to maybe want to be involved in this. Um, uh, I'm sorry. It's the energy. Let me get my stuff. Ugh. The uh, <laughs> sorry. The energy. The carbon fee. Okay. The carbon fee through Citizens Climate Lobby, and they will put a carbon fee on greenhouse gas and. Um, it would be, it's a really good opportunity for us, that one. And uh, Citizens Climate Lobby, I really want everybody to look into that. The carbon fee, it, what it does is it brings money back to Americans to transfer over to renewable energy. So they will, it's not a tax, it's a fee. And every um, year it'll go up on these companies that produce fossil fuels. And they'll charge them by how much fossil fuels are coming into the supply line. I talked about this the other day in, in my stream, and I'm really sorry that I'm like this. I'm just so riled up. Even uh, Occupy Wall Street, there's an article coming out on our page that uh, they, they, they did a call to action also. And their call to action is uh, also about um, getting involved. Because if we want these pipelines to stop, and we really want to... Uh, make change, then we've got to do it. We do. We have to stop using so much gas. We have to lobby. Let's say you live in a city and you live in a big apartment building. You, do you ever really think about where your fuel comes from? Do, do people ever really think about this shit on a daily basis? Well, we're going to have to start thinking about it on a daily basis because we're also upset about what's happening in Standing Rock, but we didn't do anything to prevent it. Now, I'm I'm not working anymore because I'm a sick person. I have problems. And uh, that's why I can be an activist. But I don't go out much. I go out to do interviews for real progressives. I go out to do, um, you know, things that are uh, politically expedient when I'm feeling all right. But I'm stopping my gas usage as much as I can. Uh, we're looking at solar, you know, but our electric is still cheap. But I'm finding that even though it's cheap where I live, because they are using methane from the uh, the landfill to purchase electricity and we get it back on the grid, that's not the best way to do things. And how about, like, these apartment buildings in cities, getting solar panels put on these apartment buildings? Uh, we've got to do these things now. We can't wait till pipelines are put, being put through no more any more reservations, any more places where people live, where the aquifers are going to get ruined. What are you guys going to do? And Aaron, you're right. Close the bank accounts. Okay, yeah, we got to close bank accounts in the banks. We talked about that. And all well, this information is out there. It's out there. But we've got to do this. We cannot sit around and just bitch and moan on the computer that, oh, my God, look what's happening in Standing Rock. Because th that's just, like I said, that's the end symptom. So 
we got to find out who these energy companies are. The ones that are going bankrupt, they're going to reorganize. They're going to reorganize to do the same goddamn thing. Fracking. They're going to look for fracking. Uh, so they're, re they're but they, they hide behind these resource company names, you know, and they've got investors. Now, I will say something. I went the other day, I mean today, I had to go down to the store. And for me, I hate going out to the store because it's, a, I, 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 I clocked it, or I did the mileage today, and it's 6.5 miles to the store. I thought it was a little longer, but that's the short way. I went, I went the short way. And, uh. Being that, you know, I had to go out, um, and I'm driving up and down, my road is dirt road, and I pass a lot of Trump signs, it gets me, you know, thinking, wow, what's going on here? You know, we know that, and I'm not digressing, I have a point to this. Well, I got to the store, and Trump was on television there. They had him on, and it was like, ugh, I wanted to puke. But anyway, he's saying that, and this is what they're saying, the Republicans are saying, that they want to divest in, in the Middle East oil. They don't want to have dependence on Middle East oil. But you know what that means, guys? Do you know what that means? That means they're going to frack and they're going to drill and explore in the Alaskan Wildlife Refuge. They're going to uh, 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 want people to sell their property in places like um, Utah. Utah, beautiful state. One of our real progressives, Katie, she lives in Utah. And she's telling me people are wanting to sell their property because these companies are willing to pay top dollar. Okay? So people are selling out all over. And it's wrong. And they have no conscience. And they're going to sell out so that we can fucking frack the United States up. That's what the Republicans are saying. Okay, domestic. And then, you know, coal. Uh, coal. Let's do more coal. Why don't we just get some more coal out of the ground? You know, instead of looking at ways to get solar energy and get all the, 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 the wind energy and all those things we need to keep our earth from falling apart, these short-sighted idiots of politicians, all they think about is their purse. And that's why we got to get them in the purse. We have to take action. I'm calling, this is a call to action. I'm going to do it in my personal life. We're going to do it. We already did because we moved away and we live subsistence as much as we can. But I don't have any pipelines going through my wells. I don't have, I don't have to go buy my water like the woman in Colorado does on Mark Ruffalo's website. But that Colorado, the state of Colorado, that's being ruined. And I asked somebody today, I said, geez, what did Colorado do? What, they legalize weed so that they could put everybody to sleep and not wake them up so they could frack the shit out of the state? <sighs> you bet I'm mad. And when I get mad, you know what? I do take action, and I'm going to take action. As shitty as I feel today, and I haven't been feeling good, and that's my problem. <sighs> Something's got to be done. And when I come back on, the next stream I come back on, I'm going to have some information for you guys. I'll have more information, but it really is up to you. And Melissa, I know you say we're fucked either way. And you're right. If there was any justice, Jill and Najamu would be in the White House. But there's no justice. There is no justice. We have to make the justice. We have to make this happen. And we got to get up off our cushy little lounge chairs and get off our asses and do something. So I'm going to join up with this Citizens Climate Lobby, or I'm going to at least see what they're about, because I think that the carbon fuel fee could be a way to work. But you have to get these legislators into office that'll do this, like Curtis Wild, running on the Democratic ticket in state senate in Missouri. He's a new one. He he has a call to action because Bernie Sanders said run. He's a wrestler. He was a pro wrestler. I'm interviewing him, and he's going to be on Real Progressives because he's cool as shit. But he's for us. We have to run. Marsha, um, oh my God, she's my friend on Facebook. People are starting to run, and that's the only way we can do this because it has to be politically and it has to be through the pocketbook. And we can boycott, that's good, and we can, we can have demonstrations, fine, 
But the rank and file Americans don't give a rat's ass about demonstrations, do they? We've seen that over and over. And I, I like direct action. I'm not saying anybody shouldn't do direct action. But we got to do this action ourselves. we got to take it. And we got to do it. That's about it for me. So what's happening in Standing Rock is disgusting travesty. We need to do something else now and not let it happen again. I love you.